With the next feature over here, which is your pencil, you can click on that to select it. And again, I'm going to turn color fill off, so I'm just going to have an outline. And you can just basically draw anything you want on your page. Again, you can change the nodes by editing it. You can change the lines and the width. Over here is the scissors tool. And for the scissors tool, I'm going to go to yet another page. Next, I'm just going to go to the top of the screen, click on Select to turn off my pencil, click once on my material, and I'm going to click once on my scissors. I have an option of using a straight edge scissor, or I can pull this down and I can use different edgings for my scissors. I'm going to stick with straight edge. I can start at the outside of this and I can just sort of slice through and let go and then click on the area I no longer want. If I want a perfectly straight line, I start at the outside and I hold down the shift key on the keyboard and all I do is I drag my line through. When I'm happy, I let go of my left mouse button and then the shift key on my keyboard and then I can just click away the part that I don't want. Now while this area is still selected, I also have another option that's available once I select the scissors and that's the punches. So you can click over here and you can select a punch that you'd like to use. It's automatically going to fill the size of your shape. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm just going to click on cut. Now I can easily cut out the middle section or I can cut out this section, but what I find is a lot easier is to click on select to turn off my scissors, click once off of my image, and then click back on my material and just move it out of the way. With the next toolbar called the eraser, I'm just going to open another page. And over here what I'm going to do is select this image and I'm going to click on copy and then click on paste. Now all I want to do is with my pasted image, I want to rotate it a little bit while it's still selected on top of my original image. I'm going to go over here to the eraser and all I'm going to do is just sort of draw through this. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy and then I'm going to let go and click on select and just move this off. So it looks like I've got this great effect but if I actually move this down, you can see that only the top portion was erased using the eraser. Another thing that you can do is you can click on whatever image it is, whether it's your photograph or anything else, and once that's selected, you can go over here and you can click on your crop tool. Now your crop tool automatically has this little dashed square around your image, and you can easily hold down your left mouse button and just drag it to whatever section you want. When you're happy with that, you can click off of your image and there is your nicely created crop section. If you change your mind, just click on it again, click on the crop button, and then you can just move it where you like. You can also use the handles on the side by holding down your left mouse button and just dragging them into the direction that you want from top to bottom. And then once you're happy, all you need to do is click off of your image and you now have a quickly cropped image. Over here is your shadow tool and the way that it works is while your image is selected you can click on the shadow tool and you can drag a shadow just by holding down your left mouse button and bringing it down. You can also change the opacity of the shadow so that you make it darker or you make it lighter. You can go over here and you can blur it or you could make it a lot stronger. You can go over to the sheer X, drop this down, and give it a completely different angle. And you can do the same with the sheer Y, the scale X, and the scale Y. You can also color this while it's still selected. You can pick any color you want, and then you've got yourself a completely different shadow. If you change your mind, whatever image you've applied a shadow to, click on it to select it, and then go over here and click on Remove Shadow. Click on Select to turn off the entire shadow. I'm going to paste another image. Make sure your image is selected and then just click on the fill tool. I'm just going to start outside and I'm just going to drag a line down. Now you can see that there is this line. If I click anywhere on this line, I'm going to be adding circles. When you're doing that, you can go into any circle that's selected and you can pick a color and then click on your next circle and pick a different color and so on until you have a look that you'd like. So you can at any time just change this around, move this in different areas or in different sections. You can also change the color at any time. Now I'm going to click on select to turn off the fill tool. Over here is your transparency tool and this works great especially when you're mirroring objects. For example, I'm just going to hold down the control key on my keyboard while this image is selected and I'm just going to bring this down. 
Next, while this is selected, I'm going to click on my transparency tool and what I want to do is starting at the top is hold down my left mouse button and I'm just going to drag it down. Now if I want this to appear more like it's a mirrored look, I'm just going to click anywhere on this line and I'm going to drag it up a little bit. Once I'm happy, I can click on Select to turn off the transparency and there we have an image that looks like there's some sort of a mirrored reflection. Over here, if I click on this image, I can also click on the Roughen tool. And what the Roughen tool does, if you hold down your left mouse button and stretch it out a bit, it's going to give you these little rough edges. You can also press your left mouse button in and drag it inwards. And finally, the last tool is your Daisy Trail Upload. All you need to do is click on that, pick the page that you would like to share with the Daisy Trail community, enter your username, your password, and then click on Upload. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.